The Monroe County Emergency Communications Department is located at 321 West Main Street in this state-of-the-art facility. On April 5, 1998, the ECD was named an Accredited Center of Excellence by the International Academy of Emergency Medical Dispatch. The ECD joined an elite group of only 20 accredited centers worldwide and was the first to be accredited in New York State. In November of 1998, the center cleared its first accreditation from the Commission for the Accreditation of Law Enforcement Agencies. Until that time, Kalia had certified only four other 911 centers in the world. To qualify, the 911 center had to demonstrate compliance with 59 standards, pass an in-depth on-site inspection, and clear a hearing before the commissioners. Key to the success of the center is efficiency. The Emergency Communications Department employs more than 175 full-time public safety communications professionals who answer more than 1.4 million calls annually. When you dial 911, a telecommunicator's first task is to classify your emergency into the appropriate incident type. In doing so, he can determine what kind of assistance you need. Many codes are used to designate different categories of emergencies, covering everything from a barking dog complaint to major airport emergency. Once the nature of the emergency is classified, the call is routed to the appropriate police, fire, or emergency medical dispatcher. Typically, help is dispatched within 60 seconds of entry into the computer-aided dispatch system. In some cases, an incident may require assistance from only one public safety provider, but often more than one type is needed. As a caller to the 911 center, you must answer all questions completely. Some may seem redundant or unnecessary, but the procedures are carefully developed to make sure appropriate services are provided. Responding to questions calmly and completely is the best way to ensure that the system operates smoothly. While the telecommunicator is completing your interview, the dispatchers are already busy sending help. When you dial 911 from a landline phone in Monroe County, basic information will appear on the telecommunicator's telephone screen. This will include the address, telephone number, municipality, and the name of the telephone customer. You will be asked to verify that the information is correct. This is to ensure that the emergency responders are dispatched to the right location. If you are calling from a cellular phone, the name of the cellular carrier is provided along with the telephone number and the location of the cell tower that the phone is utilizing. In most cases, the latitude and longitude of the caller is also available. Monroe County is a Phase II compliance center capable of locating newer model cellular phones by transmitting a signal to them through our telephone equipment. It's important to note that only those cellular calls received at the 911 center can be located using GPS technology. Working hand-in-hand -hand with the telephone technology at the 911 center is an advanced mapping program called Pictometry. A locally owned and operated company, Pictometry provides detailed aerial photographs of every parcel of land within Monroe County. This would include expressways, intersections, and unpopulated areas, and bodies of water. We also have coverage for those counties that border Monroe, so that someone calling from near a geographical border can be easily located in their time of need. In all cases, make sure you're prepared to provide an accurate address or some verifiable landmark to pinpoint your location. We're very lucky to have this excellent communication system and skilled emergency responders. To ensure that the system continues to operate at peak efficiency, it's important to know when to use 911. It's simple. You should call 911 anytime you need a police officer, a firefighter, or emergency medical professional. During inclement weather, it's not the best option to get information on road conditions or cancellations. You'll do better by contacting the highway department, monitoring the radio or television, or directly contacting an event sponsor. Another feature of the 911 Center is the Emergency Medical Dispatch System. All personnel receive training as interviewers and triage officers. With the help of MPD, Center employees have the tools to quickly access the magnitude of the crisis. By doing so, emergency responders will be sent according to immediacy of need rather than on first-come, first-served basis. 
When precious resources are overtaxed, a child who is not breathing will take precedence over someone with a sprained ankle. Hey, you guys all right? What happened? Holy cow. 911, Sutter. Hi, I want to report a traffic accident. Okay, where's the accident? It's at 2580 Union Street. That's in Spencerport. How many vehicles do you have involved there? There's two cars involved. Can you tell if anybody's hurt? Yep, no, one, one car smashed into the side of a van, and there's uh, several people hurt here. I think there's actually people trapped in the car. I can't get the doors open. No, I, I'm, they're, they're, the doors are all stuck shut. No, I don't see anything on fire. Yep, there's some gasoline leaking. And was anybody thrown from the vehicle? Okay, I have three, three people in the van that I'm standing next to. I can't get next to the car right now. Does everyone appear completely awake and alert? Uh, two of them are unconscious. But, yes, they're breathing. No, one of them is conscious. The driver is okay. He's conscious. Okay. No, it's a 2580 Union Street in Spencerport. Okay, no. No, I don't see anything else on fire. No, everything looks fine. Other than that they're just stuck in the car. I can't get the doors open. All right, Steve, I do have the uh, fire department and ambulance started. Stand in line, I'm going to give you... Okay. All right. The system is designed so that critical decisions can be made in the first seconds of the call. Through a series of four simple questions, the seriousness of the patient's condition is determined. After help has been sent, the emergency medical dispatcher will remain on the line, oftentimes providing basic life-saving instructions to the caller. Specific instructions may help the caller prepare for the responder's arrival. You may be asked to collect the patient's medications, the name of the family doctor, or deal with a pet that may interfere in treatment or access to the patient. All of these things serve to decrease emergency response time and improve care. Standardized care and decision-making translate into the better use of limited resources such as advanced life support equipment and personnel. Public safety is also improved by reserving high-speed vehicle operation for life-threatening incidents. The heart of the communication system is located at the 911 Center on West Main Street, but the backbone is the radio center on Cobbs Hill. The radio center operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Their work is an essential component of the 911 Center and public safety. Should something interfere with the operation at the West Main Street location, the radio center is equipped to operate as a backup link between the public and emergency communications providers. This critical association ensures that the public safety will never be compromised by a breakdown in communications. When everything is functioning smoothly at the ECD, these highly skilled technicians make sure that all of the mobile and portable radios used by all police agencies are working correctly. Another extension of the 911 Center is the Monroe County Mobile Command Unit. This vehicle is a communications center on wheels that can be utilized at major incidents such as large-scale fires or disaster sites, as well as at large public gatherings. 
The vehicle has connectivity with the 911 center's computer-aided dispatch system so that incidents can be easily monitored and updated both at the scene and by the center's West Main Street location. Radio and telephone service is also available, as well as backup power for the unit and exterior scene lighting. A cache of portable radios and batteries are on board so that units on the scene have a ready supply of charged batteries, keeping them in communications with one another and the MCU. Purchased almost entirely with grant money, this vehicle will serve the needs of our county and adjoining jurisdictions for many years to come. Citizens also have a responsibility in the system. It's your job to help the telecommunicators obtain correct information. Every call that takes longer than it should is slowing service to others who may be in dire need. Emergency responders and citizens in Monroe County are fortunate to have the state-of-the-art technology provided by the Emergency Communications Department. Among the benefits that we derive are clearer communications, better service, and a safer community for everyone. Thank you.